how to update the firmware on the ICOM IC705. We're going to take a look at it right now. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0. My name's Jason. I'm KC5HWB. On this channel, we do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. And today, the newest thing is a piece of firmware release for the ICOM IC705 and also for the 7300 and 9700. Now, the, the steps in the video today are going to be how to update the firmware on the ICOM IC705. And as time goes on, there are going to be new firmware releases, hopefully obviously should be so the steps so i'm doing a kind of a generic video today that says hey here's how you update the firmware regardless of what version has just come out at the time of this recording the brand new version is 1.20 but in the future you can use these steps to update the firmware on your icom ic705 so let's get started all right so the first thing you're going to need is a micro sd card like what's shown right here i've got it in a in an adapter it doesn't matter what adapter you use but I've got an adapter. This is a micro USD, to, uh, uh, yeah, micro USD card. And it's probably going to be best to format it, either format it or just make sure you don't have anything on it because it's probably going to wipe it out. So the basic premise is that we're going to go into the menu. Actually, we, we're going to download the firmware from this website right here. And I will put the link to this website in the description of the video below so that you can go find it yourself. So this is the website here where, where you can download the firmware. This is changes from the previous version will be listed right there. And this is a, a release notes down here. Again, we're just doing the steps to update the firmware today because the release notes and the version number will be different for everyone that you do. You can download this and download that. This website, right, or this is the release notes for the current version of 1.20. And it tells you how to use some of the new features, which we're going to go through later. And then this is a website right here that gives you instructions. One of the things that I thought was a little bit strange is that ICOM on their firmware download page doesn't give you instructions on how to install the firmware on the radio. I thought that was a little bit weird. A lot of times these radio manufacturers will provide you a zip file that includes the, the actual firmware uh, file itself and a, like a Word document that'll tell you how to... Uh, what steps to go to update the firmware. I didn't find that on our ICOM's website. I Googled for it, and I found it on this radioamateur.us page. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's not hard. So we're going to go through that right now. Okay, so the first thing you're, you're going to do is I'm going to take this micro SD card here. We're going to put, put the memory card in the computer. It's this USB drive right here. So DCM is this... I've, I've obviously... I've used, oh, this is my DJI. So this came out of my, this came out of my drone, my Phantom 3 professional drone that I've got. So, but I've already copied all that stuff over. So I'm just going to go ahead and nuke that. This is one of the files that you download. This is the page I showed a minute ago. You download, uh, again, these are the release notes at the top. Scroll down to the bottom. We click on, this download link is grayed out. So you have to click on the, uh, accept the, Fully understood and agree, la, la, la. It's basically telling you if you break your radio, they're not responsible if you do something wrong. This is an 8.16 megabyte file, and I've already, which I've already downloaded. I'm going to go over here to Downloads, which is right there. And this is 705E120.dat. Right there. I'm just going to drag it out. It's, it's just a .dat file. That's all it is. There's nothing else in in the folder with it right there. So that makes it fairly easy. This is the old 1.11 that I downloaded. I was on the wrong page the first time, so I don't need that anymore. But, uh, and then the, and then the ICOM USB serial port driver is also in there. You can download that if you're planning on attaching the ICOM, the IC705 to your computer, which we're not going to do that today. So I'm going to go back over here and open up the E drive, drag this over here. There we go. That's an eight megabyte file. So this is a 12 megabyte file after it's unzipped. You drag it over here, no problem. And now we're going to take this out of the computer, take this micro SD card here, and we're going to put it into the side of the ICOM IC705. So let me switch to that right there. 
move my microphone over. I'm going to find the, the micro SD slot is here on the side. Put that over there. I don't have anything hooked up to the radio right now. Come on. I might have it in there backwards. I'm not sure which way it goes. I've never put this in before. There we go. Okay. Don't force it in there. Just I'll lightly tap it in there until it goes in, and then it comes down okay. There we go. These are. Uh, this is part of the DR repeater finder that's built into the 705. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to tap over here. I'm going to follow these instructions right here. And you can see change the firmware. You can see the firmware when it boots up. The other way to see it is to go to set, others, information, and version. So set, menu, menu, set, others, information, and version. So I'm on 1.10 right now. Like there's a 1.12 update and I haven't even done that. That's my current version on the radio right there. You can probably see that in the bottom right corner. Get a little bit closer screenshot of it there. So that's my current version. So I'm going to go back. And there's nothing in the release notes that says I have to go up incrementally. So I'm just going to try to go from 1.10 to 1.20. We're going to find out how that works. So we're going to go to menu. And we're going to go to set, and we're going to go to SD card, and then we're going to go firmware update. The SD card is not formatted in FAT, FAT32. Okay, that's fine. You know what? No problem. I'm going to format the card. One thing I should mention is that since this does have to be formatted in FAT or FAT32, you can't use like a, a 64 gigabyte card in it. Uh, before I started rolling the camera, I kind of found that out the hard way. So you need a, and I don't remember if the top, if I don't remember what the largest one you can do, but I, I used it in this example, I'm using a 16 gigabyte card and it is working just fine. So let's go back here and I've still got the card in the radio. So I'm going to format it. And it's going to ask me, okay, click yes. Just like that. And then I'm going to take it out of the radio and put it back into the computer to drag the DAT file back over to it. Hey, guess what? If you're finding value in this episode, if you wouldn't mind, hit that thumbs up button for me. It does help with the algorithm. Let's get back to it. Bring this up here, USB E drive. All right, so now that it's formatted, you've got, you see here, now I've got an IC705 folder. So it's just anywhere in this root folder. I'm just gonna copy that right there inside of that folder, not in one of these specific folders here. According to the instructions I'm reading, so we're gonna see if this works. All right, once we've got the micro SD card formatted and the newest version of firmware, whatever it might be, dropped into the root folder of, well, the, the, the top folder that says IC705 on the already formatted micro SD card, we take the SD card out of the computer and put it back into the 705. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna switch over to this view here. And then we're gonna go back to menu set and we're going to choose sd card we're going to go to firmware update and it's going to give us this yellow screen right here that uh, I'm going to make sure that that, that yellow screen is really bright in the camera but i think it's readable so we're good there scroll down we're going to click on yes to agree make sure that you have a backup if you need one i don't have any memories to back to back up in my own radio so i don't care about this but take the necessary steps you need for your own setup it's gonna give you the date, and that's today's date. That's the day I'm recording this. Comes down there. Then we click on the new folder that comes up here, just like that. Firmware update takes approximately two minutes after updating the 705 will automatically restart. 
until the frequency screen is displayed. Never turn off the 705 or remove the FC card. I should also mention that uh, I don't think I said this up front, but you should plug into an external power supply before doing firmware updates on any radio. Okay, now some of these some of these HTs you don't have a, a, an option for that, and if you know, and quite frankly, if you if you have a full charge on your 705 battery, it's probably fine. But just to be safe, I'm plugged into my MFJ power supply right now. So just to be safe, I suggest connecting to an external power supply so that you don't accidentally lose power during the firmware update because it will mess things up. So we're going to go here, and the important step here is that if you just touch this like that, nothing happens. The important step here is to hold this down for one second. And then that's the screen we get to. Checking the file. Updating main CPU firmware. Please wait for, and then it gives you a countdown. It says up to two minutes, but the countdown started at like 23, 24 seconds. So we're just going to wait for that time right there. And here it goes. I'm not touching. It's doing everything by itself right now. And you see 1.20 in the bottom right corner of the screen when it comes up. There we go. Okay, that looks different than it did earlier. Turn my scope back on. There's that. I don't have a antenna connected right now. Oops. That. There we go. I personally like that view better. That's just me. And now we're going to go menu, set, others, information, version. And you can see at the top, main CPU is 1.20. Again, this will work for any version from now until, I guess, until they stop making this radio. The following features are changed or added to the IC705 for 1.20. Scope operation, preset menu, about antenna tuner, Waveland access point operation, custom key front panel, remote mic key, and VS3's custom features. You know what? I've got one of those. Um, I picked up one of those uh, VS3's the other day. So... I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be having that. My my 705 videos that I've been doing out at the Deer Lease in the field, I'm going to be doing that with one of those. I'm going to have that on the next video soon. Set mode six. Preset menu, there's that. Loading preset memories, okay. About antenna tuner. There, you can read through. I'm not going to read this entire thing. What I was really looking for was the part about FT8. Because supposedly it's got a menu in here. What will do FT8 natively now? So that's it. So those are the quick and easy steps to update firmware on the ICOM IC705. Again, today's version was 1.2. And I went from 1.10 to 1.20. Okay, there was two versions in between i think there was a 1.11 and 1.12 yeah and i think they went from 1.12 to 1.20 i think that was what it was so i skipped over two versions with no problem i just updated from 1.10 to 1.20 it didn't have any issues at all that worked just fine let me know what you think let me know what you think about this new firmware um again these steps can be used to update later versions of firmware than 1.20 because the steps are always going to be the same you basically download the firmware file, put it onto a micro SD card that's formatted for the 705, put it in the 705, touch the menus that we went through today. Make sure it's plugged into an external power source if you're if you're smart about it, and just wait for the prompts to tell you when it's when it's done and it'll reboot itself and you're up and running in business. 73 guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments below and uh catch you on the next episode.